Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines here on Potato Head Plays. And we're back in the city of Bernatarn and it's been a long, long time since we were actually in this city. It was only two episodes ago that I did the Christmas special. And obviously we're in September now, so... You know, that's that's been a long time, um, long time coming, so I'm glad to be back. There's lots of things I want to do, especially with City Skylines 2 coming out in a couple of months. There's lots of things I still want to do in this city and get done. So we're going to look at a few things today. We're here watching these guys snowmobile around on the edge of the lake. So one of the things I want to do does involve the lake. Other things I want to do are just kind of fixes and little things to make sure our city's running properly. So without any further ado, let's jump straight in and see what we've got. So for example here, we've got some burnt down buildings and what they say is they're waiting for a disaster response to visit or bulldoze. So we don't have a disaster response build unit or building in the city at the moment. You can either use this airbase, which just sends out helicopters or the main building, which sends out trucks too. They're both big buildings. We could build it down there by lowlands, but I think up here in this little pocket of land we have here, it makes much more sense. You've got good connection to kind of our main arterial roads around the city because we are using the one with trucks. And I think the helicopters would be in a good position, you know, up on the top of the hill here. So we're gonna have to rework our roads slightly, I think, to make this fit. So let's make sure we have the same road type. We'll delete that and then we'll fit this in without destroying any of those fences or anything and then let's flatten out this land because like I say it's big if we don't do some groundwork first this is going to look a bit silly we'll just pop that road back in now although I want it along this main road I don't want it feeding directly onto it so we are going to pop in just a small frontage road we're going to use the one with wide sidewalks so there's no parking and there we go I think that's quite an impressive looking building to have along our kind of main arterial street there and now we've just got to think about how we're connecting it up. So in the future, I think this is going to be slightly different, but for now, I'm just going to pop a road right in here. It will connect straight onto that arterial. But yeah, like I said, I think this is only temporary. We'll put a little path in like that. But once we've bought that next tile and we have a bit more space, I think I'd like it to connect up round the back and have a connection to this road here instead. So we'll put those roads in for now. I think the best bet is going to be to put this road in running right along the back of this building here and then we'll connect it up to the main road. Because I also want to turn this into a slight bit of a campus kind of thing, a disaster response campus with a couple of other buildings. So you can see our first trucks, out they go there, both like say good arterial road access for them um, so they can get around and about nice and quick. So we've not got a radio mast in the city at the moment, so we might as well pop one in here in this like little campus thing, kind of like I'm saying. So these don't need road access, but we'll just pop it in along there. And we've actually got quite a few of these earthquake sensors around the city already, because we, we use them as little transformer electricity boxes, but we'll pop one in. The weather radar does need street access, but I don't think there's any cars that come out of it or anything like that. So we'll just pop it down. And then eventually we'll try and squeeze a deep space radar in to keep an eye out for meteorites as well. But the next thing, I want to do a fishing industry. There's a couple of reasons. I've never done one before. Yeah, I've had Sunset Harbour for quite a while, actually, but I've never made a fishing industry that comes, you know, comes with that DLC. It's not going to be a massive money maker for us or anything like that, because we've got quite limited space. But one thing I do really love about it is that you get those fishing boats. They just seem to make bodies of water come alive a little bit, make the whole city feel a bit more alive. So I'm going to see what I can squeeze in. We're going to try and we're not going to get too fancy with it or anything like that. But we'll put this in here and then the next thing we've got to do, mm, we are a bit low actually on water and sewage and heating anyway, so we'll have to have a look at that. It, not this episode though. But we need, to, we need to draw in this fishing line. Now, I know from watching other people do this that there's kind of an optimum length where you get to 100% capacity and you can be maximum efficiency just before your boat gets back into the harbour. I don't know what that is. We'll have to keep an eye on that for now. But, you know, I'm not too concerned about it being 100% accurate, but that's there. I just want, you know, there's lots of boats coming out and immediately the lake's going to feel a bit more alive, the tarn. I also want to pop in one of these fish farms. I think that'd be quite nice. So we can pop the road access in probably about here and then connect those two roads up. Again, we're not going to get too fancy with it or anything like that. Just extend the water pipe so that's got all everything it needs. 
And then there's other things you can have. You can have these fish markets and fish factories. And I think we could fit both of those in this plot of land. Sadly, it's probably gonna mean we need to get rid of these trees and this rock, but we'll, we'll do something to kind of put that back afterwards, I think. So we'll flatten it out, because again, they're both you know, relatively big buildings, but I do think they'll fit in there. I'm gonna pop that in there here-ish just for now, but that's really just for kind of a scale kind of thing at the moment, that's going to move. And then I'm gonna create a road that comes around here, reclaim a tiny bit of land, I think, from the, the tarn there, delete that, and then I think we're gonna to have to face them sideways like this. So the fish factory can just face here. There is a bit of pollution, so we are gonna to have to be mindful of that from that building, but I don't think it's too much. We should be okay. And then we've got the fish market can pop in just here. I don't want that to connect up to that main road, but we'll have a footpath and everything. And that's quite nice. People will like that. That's a leisure thing that will attract tourists, those kinds of things. So quite cool, I think. Quite cool little um, addition to the city. And what we'll actually do is maybe we will connect this up with a bit of a curve. It will add, we've got that path along the other side of the road. We've already got trolleybus routes. It will just add a crossing in and make it nice and easy for people to get here. Now I reckon, yeah, we can squeeze a path through there as well. So we can connect that up to the main road and maybe a path over on this side as well. Just whilst we're at it, you might as well finish these things off. Perfect. And we want to make this look nice. So I don't want to just leave this how it is. Uh, you know, we are in kind of a, a residential area here. So although this is an industry thing, I want to make sure it's efficient. So we are going to put warehouses and things in as well if we can. Um, but I'm going to detail this up to make it look quite nice as well. So I think you can do fish. You can right down at the bottom here. We'll get that to fill up nicely. And then the fish factory, I believe, produces goods, goods that we can sell around the city. So that's that's a good thing as well, because I think we are importing quite a lot of goods as well into our city at the moment. So this is looking nice. We just have to think about how we're going to make this this function. So road priorities, I think, will be quite important. I don't know how heavy traffic is going to get in the area like this. But then, like I say, I'm just going to pop in some some a bit of detailing over here. Try and pad this out a little bit so that these big kind of bigger kind of buildings don't look too ugly. But I also want to be mindful that I'm not blocking the view of the lake completely for these residents. So I'm just going to try and hide the uglier buildings. We'll pop a couple of offices in here. Maybe they're kind of headquarters for the fishing industry, those kinds of things. They'll buffer a bit of noise and a bit of pollution as well. So that's all right. And then I want to replace that rock, but none of the big rocks are going to fit. So we'll just put in a couple of smaller rocks, a bit of vegetation and some, some trees around there as well. That would be nice. Again, hide these uglier bits so that the residents don't have to stare right at it. That office was way too big. We'll make some of these historical whilst they're smaller, but we'll keep an eye on whatever pops in next. And then what I also want to do is think about that leisure like I said we don't have too much leisure in this area um, we do have that kind of informal park just at the top of the screen now which I'm going to try and connect up this path with maybe at some point we'll make this a bit more of a formal park but for now we don't have that so what I want to do as well is I'm just going to pop a couple of these ice sculptures in I think the sculpture on those is actually a horse but you know we can use our imagination it can be a fish or something just to represent the fishing industry so that's looking good now let's in the interest of efficiency yeah they, these are filling up way too soon so they're going way too long and because we've only got the one of these fishing harbors I do want this to be quite efficient so let's shorten this route a little bit something let's try this hook it back around here come back in yep pop in there and then let's watch this guy go around whoop, whoop, whoop. there we go 90 92 so i do want it to be 100 definitely so let's just make it slightly longer don't have to worry too much about that yep i think that should be okay and let's watch this guy go around in fact let's have a little jump on and, and follow him around shall we Eight, 99 100 about perfect i'm not gonna finagle with it any more than that that's close enough for my liking so that's working pretty good the last thing i want to do put some local and organic produce on and just put a bit of commercial zoning in this gap here 
in my head that's kind of a farmer's market kind of thing where some of these like other fish might be sold those kinds of things as well just supplementing that fish market and let's wait and see what building pops in here hopefully a bit of a smaller office we can keep oh it's the one with the weird top hat guy on the front we'll definitely keep him that can be mr fisher the head of our fishing industry we will just have to keep an eye on that pollution. I don't want it getting in the lake or getting into the residential people. It's something to think about and bear in mind going forwards, but I'm not too worried about that at the moment. And look at that, just with those boats going around the lake there, it just looks so much, so much better, so much alive already, and I'm happy with that. So we can rebuild those now, the, uh, the people have been doing it, and all of a sudden there's enough buyers available again for the ore, so that's gonna kind of rebalance out our industries a bit, so that's all looking good. And whilst we're speaking about industry, the other thing we've got to address is the industrial demand that we have. So I'm gonna set an industrial specialization of ore in this area. And what I'm gonna do is first thing, I'm gonna upgrade this road and turn all the zoning off it because I don't want anything to zone on there because we are going to be zoning in some kind of generic base game ore industry in here. But I want to kind of do it in a way that's not going to impact traffic too much. So I'm building a couple of side roads here. And then I'm going to play around with the zoning a little bit to try and maximize zoning on these side roads as much as possible and as little zoning as possible kind of on that main road up at the top where we might be impacting other things. I'll leave a little bit of zoning on the other side where I can put some offices maybe that don't you know generate as much traffic. But there we go, this should function quite nicely. This is all ore. It obviously won't be ore extractors, but it's all processing. So, you know, all good to balance out the industry as a whole as well. And whilst we're at it, we might as well finish off this fence just to hide some of those lumps and bumps as well. And that's looking good, quite happy with that. That will fill in over time. And then the next thing that was on my list to do today is we're in kind of a perpetual snowstorm at the moment and you can see there's lots of snow covered roads. So I just wanna pop down another snow dump especially in this area. I think around here makes sense. We can probably incorporate the fences into it to make it kind of look like maybe when there's no snow, it's a parking lot or something for this big factory, those kinds of things. Yeah, that, that should do, and that will increase our capacity to make sure our roads are in a good condition. And I noticed before, yeah, some abandoned buildings, abandoned because there's no water. Now we did identify that as a potential problem earlier. So I'm just gonna boost the budget for now just up to about 120. That should do the water, sewage and heating. So we should have plenty of that going forwards. But we'll have to keep an eye on that and maybe come up with a better solution. Just seeing how this is going. Seems to be fine, full of workers, lots to go on in there. And here we go. There's another thing, another burnt down building over here that we can rebuild. So that's all looking good. Oh, didn't want the budget there. Just need a bit more entertainment to level that park up. So that's something we can do in a future episode as well. And I wanna get rid of this power line. It's just little things, lots of little things around the city here. Just having power lines running parallel to the cable car there, I don't like it. So I'm gonna use a few things here to jump the power. Looks a bit ugly, can we fix that? Can we spread these out a little bit more? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, so we'll pop that in there, jump the power, and then let's try, oh. <laughs> that was the wrong tool. I didn't I did not want to do that. I wanted to smooth it out and not make a mountain. City Skylines 2, please, please, please come with an undo button because that is I do that so often, it just it just ruins the game for me. I'm gonna try and fix it now, but you can see I've messed up the cable car, so we're gonna have to rebuild that as well. I should have just left it how it was. The power lines didn't even look that bad. I've probably made it look worse in the end here. That's quite steep, isn't it? I wonder if we can balance that out a bit better just raise that up maybe not quite that far yes i mean yeah if we go about there and then we can connect straight up to this one that should be about right there they go they magically fly back up to connect to the tracks i'm gonna end it there before i break anything else but there is still lots to do in this city lots to be getting on with this new industry area is filled in really nicely and you can see the trucks going around. You got the, the fishing boats out here on the lake. It just looks so alive, so much better. Just a tiny little tweak and it, another thing just to give this city a bit of character. We'll keep working on that. And then we've got a disaster response unit here. So just a quick and easy episode for us today, but I'm going to do my best to release another episode soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then.